I would have never known, you know, to get anything checked if it hadn't been for the watch. When Forrest Clevenger bought an Apple Watch, he never expected it would save his life. Well, last week, his doctors were able to catch a heart attack before it was too late. 10 News reporter Grace King spoke with the Cobb County Commissioner, who says he is grateful to be alive. There we go. Sinus rhythm. Those two words signal a healthy heart. That means I'm okay. But in December, Forrest Clevenger's watch showed a much different message. I'd done it three or four times and it kept coming back. I was in some sort of arrhythmia and it was you know, telling me I need to seek a medical attention. At first, I was like, oh, this thing can't be right. Uh, it was. It took Forrest three months to get a doctor's appointment. By that time, something just felt off. I didn't think it had anything to do with my heart. I'd had COVID. Uh, a few months ago and I'd been noticing uh, when I went to the gym, I would start getting really winded really fast. His doctor ran multiple tests to see what was wrong. Told me I needed to get to the hospital right now. Forrest was having a heart attack. And it just all fell into place. The, the day I was getting uh, the test, uh, I just happened uh, to be in, I guess, cardiac arrest. His doctors are glad he didn't wait any longer. It was a type two heart attack, they said, so it, it wasn't like massive. It was building up. Now he has to wear a special vest. Heart sensors and monitors. And take heart pills daily. One medication with insurance, $610 for a month. Even so, he's grateful to be alive. It was right and I was wrong. Grace King reporting there. The American Heart Association says more than 6 million people are affected by AFib. Left untreated, it doubles the risk of heart-related deaths.